Good day. This is the financial math video, part of the grade 12 syllabus. And in this specific video, we're going to show you how to calculate N in the formula, the compound increase formula. We're going to work out that part with this example. The question reads, Ria invests a thousand rand at 10% per annum compounded half yearly. For how long in years and months must she invest it to receive 2,000 at the end? 2,000 rand. We will use the compound increase formula and adjust it a little bit. Because it is compounded half yearly, we will divide the I by 2 and times the N in the air by 2 to get the amount of times we will get interest. And this will be the interest we're going to get every time. I is usually R, the rate over 100. In this case, 10 over 100. If you simplify it and simplify it further, then you must still divide it by 2 to get the actual 0, 0, 0,05, which I store in A in my memory of my calculator. In this case, N is years, so 2N is the times she gets interest. We take the formula that we decided on, we put the 2,000 on this side, that's the money that came out, 1,000 was invested, this is a normal part of the formula that we just worked out, like I explained to you over here, this I already stored in A, and I wrote the 2N in the air there. You divide the 1,000 into the 2,000, you get a 2, you store that in B. You work out this whole part inside this bracket. You get this answer, you store that in C. Now we're ready to finalize the sum. Now we're going to use logs. Again, there are two ways that people use. I'll show you the one I use and then the one that you'll usually find in a classroom. I just brought this one to the left-hand side and this one to the right-hand side. No specific reason for that. Change it to the log way of writing. Keep the 2n here, write it log, put your base there and the 2 there. Work this part out on your calculator with the one lock button. Get this answer and store it in D. Divide by 2 on both sides to get the 2 away from the n and you get 7,103. We'll get back to that now. That is 7,103 years. The other method works this way. Start the same way as we did over here. You write this down. Using the log laws, you bring in a log on both sides. Using the log laws again, you take this exponent and write it in front. To get the 2n alone, you divide this log on the other side. And then you also put this into your calculator using the other log button that you couldn't use here. Then if you simplify this, you'll get the same answer here, 14.206 that we got over here. Now we still have to divide by 2, then we get N is 7,103 years, the same answers we got over here. You should have seen one of these two or feel comfortable in one of them. Choose the one that suits you and just forget the other one. Then to convert this answer to 2 years and months, it is 7 years definitely in front of the comma and 0,103 times 12 months. That is 7 years and just more than 1 month. And remember, because it's a word sum, you write a word sentence as your answer. You say seven years and just more than one month is needed for the money to grow from 1,000 Rand to 2,000 Rand. Please stop the video and get your brain around what happened here. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy financial maths.